Jackie, obviously the big news from the club this week, the, the statement that you, you will tender your resignation if you don't get a positive result yeah. this weekend. Can you just talk us through, through the timeline of events and, and why you've come to, to this conclusion? I think, um, personally, I think the fallout uh, from, from the game the night. You know, after the game, obviously, I was very down, and the next day as well, I had a, a good chat with the chairman, and you know, I was, I was going to walk away after the game. Um, truthfully, I think the, the honest side of it, I don't think he did anything else in place uh, to do that at that point. You know, and I was disappointed with the reaction when we lost the goals and the, the fallout from that um, with the players. You know, and I think uh, a lot of them didn't handle the, the pressure when it, you know, when we lost the goal. And, and I capitulated as we said. So for me personally, I think um, you know, I think looking at it, it was best there you know, to put something out. If we win there, if I get a reaction for the players that I want, with a passion, with everything it said in the statement, you know, obviously I look at that and see it was down to that game and not handle it. And moving forward, if it doesn't, then you know, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people outside that are looking to put their CVs in, which will help the gym in, in the future. You talked about response from the players. Does it have to be a, a draw or a win? What happens if they, they play really well and, and end up losing the game 1-0? Well, again, that, that remains to be seen tomorrow. I think in my heart I'll know. You know, as I said, I think uh, when you do things, you put people out and um, you rely on them to do a job. Um, you give them inf instructions and um, to play for you. And as a manager, you're standing at the side hoping the, the information and the, the heart and the, the passion and fight is there. When it's not there and you see other things come into it, then you feel, I think you feel helpless at times, and, and that's what I felt the other night. So, in the back of that, yes, I could have walked away on Wednesday. I've not, I've given it one more shot to see if I have the response that I'm looking for. You know, and it's, I think the response here is obviously is, um, with yourselves and other people here, maybe something different, but it, it wasn't meant to be that way. I think uh, for, me, for me, it was a response for the players, but also, if it doesn't work the way I want it to, then the chairman has time there. You know. How have the players reacted? I think they did a meet themselves um, the following day. You know, and obviously I'm, I'll, I'll see. We'll see tomorrow. We'll see tomorrow. But because they're a good bunch, you know, of twenty players in the summer that I did a lot of faith in, and you know, some of them came from different walks of life, and um, for leaving jobs and packaging firms and stacking stuff and a chance to, to play football and, and give everything they have. Um, you know, and I put a lot of trust and, and faith in what I believe in. You know, if it doesn't work, then fine. Um, but for me, the reason why I came here to start with, the reason why I stayed beyond the summer, the reason why I'm still here just now, is for the man that brought me here. Because um, in football, it's, it's very difficult to meet people like that. You know, it's a, as I said, it's a unique industry. It can be great at times, but also can be very, very hard with people. Um, and he's a unique person, you know, he stood by me and beyond football, I build a, a good friendship. What's, what's different about the owner? You say he's, he's someone you've not sort of met before. What, what's different about him to all the people you've worked with? Um, he's passionate, he's honest, he doesn't... I think um, he's very, very strong. Um, you know, how he's handled it. You know, he's, I think for the, this club, he's been 13 years I think he's been here and dealt with a lot. Um, you know, the easy thing to do is, is to uh, get rid of me, get rid of me at last season, get rid of me at the end of the season, get rid of me last week, this week. But he believes in what I've been doing and what I've been doing behind the scenes. The results and the pitch haven't been there. And he stayed strong with it. Um, and it's all, all something I always admire him for. As I said, regardless of what happens, you know, I think, um, you know, he's, he's a special person. Looking at that stomach pitch for injury tomorrow, what are you expecting from them? Yeah, again, like like guys, it'll be a battle. You know, they're they're down there, they're at home. Um, obviously, there's a lot of tension in the game tomorrow. I think uh, a lot of people are looking at the result for for different reasons. Um, looking for for job interviews, uh, but you know, I don't see any pressure on the players. Extra pressure. Um, you know, it should be the same every game anyway. Treat as a cup final, so Geisley to Braintree because they don't win. I'm not here. It shouldn't affect the mentality going out to win. Has, has there been an issue mentally in terms of away games? Because obviously the, the record away from home hasn't been great. So how, how do you get that monkey off the players' back? Win. 
win, simple. Go and fight, chase everything, give everything you have, and, and once you get that first win, then everything changes. Do you have a message for the fans who are worried about the, the current situation around the club? Uh, well, I think, I say we'll see you after tomorrow. I say they'll give everything they have as I did from day one. Um, if it's good enough, then great. If it's not, you know, so someone else can come in and hope.